Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Saint Batman. He made his first appearance in Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Batman, Nightfall, issue number one, that was released in December of 2019. His real name is Jean-Paul Vallée, also going by the alias of Azrael. And he's a powerful vigilante in an alternate version of Gotham City that has blonde hair, blue eyes, and a bit of an insane streak. Now, although Jean-Paul does not quite have the skill level of the Bruce Wayne Batman of his universe, he does possess very good advanced hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, driving skills, gadgetry, leadership, swordsmanship, intimidation, and interrogation skills. I'd pretty much say he's a Batman light. However, he does possess and use the physically enhancing substance known as Venom, which gives him at least low level to moderate level superhuman strength, stamina, speed, durability, and an accelerated healing factor. And he's brutally efficient at using these enhanced abilities. The only drawback to this is that he has actually developed a dependence upon Venom, which is typically administered to him through his specialized suit. And due to this long-term dependence upon this substance, it has weakened his natural body, leading him to regularly look to re-administer his doses. Now, the Saint Batman story begins on an unspecified version of the Earth in the Dark Multiverse. In this reality, Bane had successfully broken Batman Bruce Wayne's back, leaving Bruce Wayne unable to stop Bane's plan. Bruce would decide to lend the Batman mantle to Jean-Paul Vallée, who had previously masqueraded as the vigilante named Azrael. Jean-Paul, now as the new Saint Batman, would start using his brutal tactics to fight crime in Gotham City unfettered. This arrangement would go on for quite a while, but when Bruce gradually regained his strength and mobility with the help of Lady Shiva until he was well enough to reclaim the title of Batman, he would discover that Jean-Paul was less than willing to give up that mantle, proclaiming himself to be more suited to be the Batman of Gotham City. The two would actually end up fighting for the title, with Jean-Paul winning in the end after he impaled Batman, then proclaiming that Gotham actually needed his harsh brand of justice. To sum up the subsequent years, St. Batman would go on to burn down Gotham City to purge it of crime, and would then rebuild it to suit his own vision. Now, the rest of this dark multiverse Earth was going through hardships as well, becoming more and more corrupted. This sparked Gotham to become closed off from the rest of the world, refusing to share its resources as the rest of the world crumbled around it. These circumstances are actually what prompted people to start calling Jean-Paul Saint Batman, seeing as how his harsh laws had actually kept Gotham standing while the rest of the world burned. Ironically, for a tyrant, and somewhat sadistically, Jean-Paul would once a year visit and seek the approval of Bruce Wayne, who he had imprisoned inside Wayne Tower and kept alive using machinery, with most of Bruce's limbs being removed from his torso. Bruce would consistently always show disdain for what Jean-Paul had done. But during one fateful meeting, he also told Valet that eventually he'd lose control of Gotham since he was becoming weaker and relied too much on Venom to boost his strength. But of course, Jean-Paul ignored this warning. The reality of Bruce's warning would quickly be thrown in Jean Valet's face when later that night, he would be awakened when Gotham was attacked by the League of Assassins, who were fighting to actually relinquish the city from his control. Saint Batman would go to help his followers fight against the attackers while the voice in his head of Saint Dumas would explain that the attacks were designed to weaken him and that he was indeed beginning to lose control, just as Bruce had said. Various coordinated attacks would begin happening all over the city, with each one weakening Saint Batman more and more. All the while, the voice of Saint Dumas reminding him that he's being exhausted and Batman was right. Determined to prove him wrong, Jean-Paul would even brush off the advice of his comrades that he needed to rest before continuing his battles, with him simply returning to the Batcave to re-up on his venom. However, he'd only returned there to find that it was all missing and that his wife Madeline had betrayed him by allowing the League members Lady Shiva and Bane's son Torn to enter the cave for a confrontation. Jean-Paul's wife tells him that she can no longer support his crusade because she believes that his obsession with being Gotham's superior Batman had clouded his judgment. Paul lashes out at all of them, 
only to learn that Bruce Wayne is also among those inside of the Batcave, with his limbs having been restored using nanotechnology. St. Batman's opponents are quite a bit to overcome though, especially with Bane's son Torn being obsessed with taking out St. Batman for killing his father years ago. St. Batman quickly realizes that he's already in a weakened state and that he doesn't have any more venom since it's been taken. But he casually admits to his taunting foes that yes, he has become reliant upon venom, but that he would just have to make do with what he could. Then ripping off Torn's arm to drink the venom that naturally occurs within his system. This gives the out of control vigilante the strength he needs to throw the Batcave's giant penny into Lady Shiva and Bruce Wayne, burying both of them in the rubble. But just when John Paul was about to deliver the fatal blow, he was surprised from behind by Torn, who was still conscious and drove one of St. Batman's own weaponized gauntlets through his own torso. This leaves the St. Batman helpless and defeated as his foes Shiva and Torn claim victory standing over him. But Bruce Wayne then kills them both and approaches Jean Paul and tells him that after all of the years of watching Valet pervert his life's work, he now knows better than to rely on anyone else other than himself to get the job done right. We then tragically see Jean Paul being strung up on a bridge as Bruce Wayne announces his return as Batman. Boy, the dark multiverse is brutal. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Jean-Paul Valet, aka Saint Batman, a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.